Polls have just closed in the general election. We spent today in Alloa and Grangemouth asking folk how they feel about the vote. Alloa and Grangemouth is by any definition a battleground seat at this election. Kenny McCaskill, the incumbent ALBA MP, is facing a challenge not just from Labour but from the SNP too. Just down the road, 8% of Scotland's manufacturing base, Grangemouth's oil refinery, is under threat. Jim Ratcliffe, the man who's just bought Manchester United, wants to close the refinery in 2025. So we are here today to ask folk how they're feeling about the election, how they're feeling about the refinery's future, and whether they think the politicians on offer at the ballot paper are going to save it. The big issue for Grangemouth is the refinery. Aye. To keep the jobs in Grangemouth, you must keep the jobs in Grangemouth, you know. Whoever gets in, they must do that, you know. Aye. That's the main thing. I mean, uh, because if that goes, it is a really ghost town. Aye. That's yeah. still the main source of... Aye, and yeah, the, you know I mean, we've got the docks, but that's, mm. uh, but it's mainly the refinery and them that lose their jobs. I feel the lads have got, but I've been down here about 12 years and right. I see a lot of changes about here. Like seeing here, everything's closing. Aye, I've seen there's a lot of shop fronts shut there. And uh, somebody should be doing something about it because then the BP's closed. It's closing then, so. There's soon no beer grains in my See, I know, all my pals work in I know, right? Oh, yeah. And see if anything happened there, right? They're all going to lose their good jobs, now, right? Yeah. I would hope the Labour Party would be able to win, yes. Um, um, it's going to be a difficult job for them, and six months everyone will be slagging them, I know that, but at least we've got someone else to blame. And it's up to us to kick their asses and make sure they do the job that they're getting paid to do as well. So. To me, they're just passing the buck for one or the other, like, you know. Instead they're saying, well, that's a big problem for the people in Greensmouth. All the jobs that are going to get lost in that, you know. We don't know if it'll change, but we can only hope Buffer for the away. best. And give Labour a chance. If they don't do well, well, we'll just have to change it. <laughs> so are you hopeful things are going to get better when you wake up tomorrow morning? Well, I hope so. <laughs> I hope I'm still here tomorrow morning. Well, well that's a good